Hello, everybody. Welcome to Fruitful Trees. And I'm just loving going around visiting people's yards and just seeing what they got growing on and the differences in different people's yards. And in my last video or two, a couple of videos ago, I went to my friend Sanders' house and I was telling you all his neighbors were growing fruit trees thanks to him. And we were down there near Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. And it's a little different. Where I live here in West Palm Beach, it's like sand. When you dig a hole and put it in the ground, I could do it with my hands. It's like sand. Down there, they it's like coral. When you the more south you get, the more like it's coral it, out here in South Florida. So if you're in Homestead or, or or Miami, it is like coral. So when you're gonna dig, you need like a pick and a machine or something. You can't dig with your hands or just a shovel. And when we were at Sanders' house, one of his neighbors had a whole bunch of holes that they just mechanically had dug and they were just about to put in some fruit trees. The lady had moved from one house several years prior to another house and moved some of the trees over and bought some newer trees. And we're gonna have her on the show today and we're gonna talk about it and see what she's doing there and and, and check it out. So here it goes. Okay, everybody, check it out. Here we are in this uh, next to our friend that we just did his house. Look at all these trees. And so tell us about how you do these holes here because they're all rock, right? Right. So you got to dig into the rock out we here, have right? Mechanically dug holes 24 inches in diameter and about two or three feet deep, and then we brought in that hole and filled it with uh, topsoil. See this topsoil. Okay. And, and now we're installing a new tree. So which tree are you putting in here? A, a tangelo. Okay. Mineola tangelo. Have you have you grown any citrus before? Uh, not here. Okay. I haven't grown any since before the pandemic. But you have grown. You have grown see, it in the past. Look, look. See, it's root bound. Well, you wait, 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 wait. If you grab them up a little, you can unroot the bound them. Well, I think we do when we do the dirt and the and the irrigation because we put a lot of pressure on it. Okay. Okay. I, I hate to I hate to disturb it, but I guess we could try it. It's, yeah, it's terrible what they uh, uh, whoever produced these, um, in my opinion, should have uh, repotted them a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, so, how much citrus do you have here? Because how many trees do you have here? Oh, about fifty. Fifty trees, and how far apart do you plant? Twenty feet. Twenty feet. Twenty by. And 20. how much citrus do you have of all the trees? Five. Five, because citrus doesn't traditionally do well out here in Florida, believe it or not. Well, I believe it. I know what happened in Homestead. You know about that, right? Yeah, yeah. So you're putting this tree here in, and maybe you can walk us around and show us some of the other trees after okay. you put this one in. Okay. I see some mangoes behind you. Other than mangoes, do you have other things as well? Oh, well, we have pears, not avocados. Pears, avocados. Now you were asking me about avocado. Yeah, what's your favorite one? Without a doubt, 100%. Uh, there's different seasons, but Oro Negro. Oh no, me too. Oro Negro is the best. Me too. Now there's another one that's called uh, uh, Improved Pollock. Have you heard of Improved no, Pollock? No. Excellent. Uh, Catalina's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Improved Pollock, you definitely want to get from Laura Farms. And uh, there's. Uh, have you heard of Maria Black? No. Maria Black's really nice. You gotta go to my site. I have a bunch of videos on different types okay. of avocados. Did you see the big earthworms? We got tons of earthworms. I'm just thrilled about that. And we have. Uh, oh, oh, you know what? The, uh, a campong. You gotta get a campong. It's excellent. I've never heard of it. Excellent. Okay, show us what were you saying now? 40 yards of uh, mulch. Wow, wow, <laughs> that's very cool. We're distributing it this weekend. Nice, nice. Yeah. So what's that mango behind you there? Uh, I'm not sure what all of these are because uh, I had them all organized and we moved here three years ago and they put them in a truck and brought them over here and I didn't have them tagged. Oh, that's but not have, good. Um, you didn't label them? No. Oh, no. But I have, you know, the ones that I like, um, Tebow was a new variety Tebow, yes. that we liked, and we liked the conch shell, and uh, Nick liked the Irwin. Okay. You know? Yes. So uh, we have one Irwin over here, but I had to buy it, 
and the rest of them were ones that I uh, propagated or, or grew from seeds. Okay, so, so now, some of these are very old. So now you know if you grow a seed from uh, a tree from a seed, it, it's not a variety, right? Right. But yeah. I've had good luck. They're very interesting. Okay, good. Sometimes good, good. they're very interesting. Okay. Sometimes they're true to the original fruit. Sometimes, Sometimes they not. are. Yeah. I see a tree down there that's flowering. Oh, uh -huh. you know that's what? That's a pickering. Um, pickering. Wow. That's a dwarf patio pickering. Yes, that's great. Uh, I'm, I'm a real estate agent. So uh, a friend was moving and they had it on, in a pot on the patio and they said, we can't take this, it's too heavy, do you want it? Oh wow, what How a How could I gift. not say yes? Exactly, that's great. <laughs> but I put it in the ground. So you have some uh, seedlings, you have some grafted mangoes, you have that pickering, you have right. five citrus. Right. How many avocados do you have? I don't know, I'd have to count them. Okay, and uh, do you, do you, are the avocados labeled or no? No. No, okay. Because they were all from my old house when we brought them over here. So besides avocados and mangoes, and uh, and the citrus. What else do you have? Anything else? Um, soursop. Soursop. I right. just started it. They're very small. I've got a ten foot soursop back there that I bought, but I have little baby soursops along here that I started from seed. Wow! Wow! And do you know the soursop guy down in uh, Miami or Miami Dade? I can't think of his name. He specializes in them. Uh, Laura Farms, Julian. I think that's who it is. Yeah, he has the Miami salsa. And he says to plant them close and yes. make sure you put the fruit under the trees when yes. it falls off. Yes. So wow. I'm going to have to interplant my uh, sour sop so they will be closer. So you went 20 feet apart on all of these here. Right. Very good. that way, 20 feet that way. That's great. Very wise and uh, yeah. that's great. And you hand water everything here. Is that your ultimate goal? Eventually you're going to get water or you're going to always hand water? After the trees are, are like this first row over here, they don't need to water from yeah, me. Sure. Mother Nature takes care of those for me. And great. But these are newly planted, so every two or three days I have to come out here with the hose. Where'd you get these? I had micro irrigation in uh, Homestead. Okay. And I considered having somebody come up and do that, and then I'd have to have a new well. And so finally I decided uh, 400 feet of hose. <laughs> Wow. And I've been doing it this way because it soon will be summer and I won't have to do that. And then by next fall, they'll be established and I'm over the hump. So that's yes. not long to have to drag the hose around. Exactly. In my opinion. Exactly. <laughs> and besides, it's good for you. Yeah, good exercise. <laughs> good exercise. Well, that's great. So, that's all right. So you have a big soursop tree in the corner there, you said? Yeah, you can see it if you want to. Yeah. See this one, the, the nori? Nomi? Nomi, Nomi, this? yes. Oh, I have jackfruit. How many jackfruit do you have? Well, well uh, I'm not sure because I wanted to plant them uh, here, here, and here uh, to shade the house from the morning sun. Plus, I love the jackfruit. But look at this leaf and look at this leaf. This is jackfruit. I thought that was jackfruit. I don't know. No, that. It looks like jackfruit too. But look at this, how narrow yeah, these leaves are by comparison. I mean, that one, I mean, they could be different, but that one looks more like jackfruit than you this think one. So? Yeah. Look yeah. at the new flush. Yeah, that's great. And then this is an irrigation. Plant. Yeah, I have that in their mind. Do you use those too? Yes. It's now, such amazing thing. Now, the jackfruits need a little bit more water. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I plant them too close to the. The house. Oh, you can just go right from the house. Yeah. yeah. This is a tree. Maybe I need to have a little ceremony for this tree. It looks like it. What was it? To, that's the, the noni. No, no, noni. 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 Yes. Uh, oh, you have a mame. Yeah. Nice. These uh, are brittle, but these look like they're alive. Well, you could try to save it. Cut it back. See if it'll save it. Well, I'm not going to give up on it. And here's uh, the mame. Do you know do you know what variety of mame this is? No. Okay. I can look it up because I got that at uh, Pine Island Nursery. Oh, great. You know Pine Island Nursery. Yes, of course. Yeah. And I what tree? What's that? I went down the, that tree right there. Yeah. Well, the, the guy who we bought the house from, 
brought back that tree from Thailand or something somewhere, oh, okay. and he thought it was so special. He had three or four. We've cut them all down. That one. It does not bear fruit. Oh, it doesn't bear fruit. And it's brittle. It's unattractive. Did you say what? What's that? Fushobia. Not a fruit tree. Okay. What about that it's one? It's a nuisance tree. Uh, okay. That would be um, black olive. Oh, an olive. Wow. And then, uh, not edible olives. Oh, not edible. And that is a nuisance tree. That's a Florida holly thing. Oh, I like how you call them nuisance trees. <laughs> and what's that? These are avocado and mango along here. And then I also have uh, interspersed here, I have uh, bananas. Okay. And I just planted those elephant ears because I got them for free. But I'm trying to block off the view of the commercial nursery, which is usually in poor condition. And what's this here? This is a soursop? No, this is a mango. Yeah, soursop lost all of its trees during the 40 degree weather. Oh, the leaves, yeah, it's coming back. Okay. And it came back beautifully. Okay. Came back. And let me guess, you don't know what type of mangoes these are, right? No. Okay. And there's the soursop coming back, looking nice. Yeah, it is. This one, I'm so happy. Yes, and you got and you do compost, so wonderful. Right. That's great. That's excellent. Thank you. And <laughs> so. You mulch your trees. How often do you mulch them? Um, this is the first time because the first time I found somebody that would give me mulch. Now, do you spray anything on the trees? Um, I spray uh, micronutrients because I have a lychee grove and I learned a lot about micronutrients and especially iron. iron. It's very good. And do you use any fertilizer? Um, no, not really. Oh, okay. Not really. Okay. I guess I should, but maybe oh. I will this year. I like that. I, I wish I could find somebody that had sheep in there. That would be wonderful. That's the best I yeah. But I haven't found that. Well, this is absolutely beautiful. How much land is over here? Three acres. Three acres. Okay. Another great farm here in South Florida. And this place is going to look great. We'll come back here when the trees are all grown up. Beautiful. Because there's more than I can eat here. <laughs> yes, what do you plan on doing with the food? Well, uh, them to people I love, or even people who love the fruit. And then I need to sell a little bit because uh, I get an, uh, a county agricultural exemption. Oh, great. Because of this year, and that keeps the taxes down. Yeah, years. that's great. Now, if I could get an insurance exemption. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I think Everybody, that was another neighbor of Sanders, the person who I I'll put a link to the video here that I did last time. His neighbors are just growing fruit trees on a block. It's pretty cool. That lady's property was amazing, and it will be amazing once those trees grow. Uh, but I thought it was very interested, and I want to show you the way she was doing it with the with the coil versus the dirt and how she was digging the holes. Uh, what do you think of that? And what's your situation in your house? Can you easily dig a hole, or do you need to like? get a pick or something or mechan uh, mechanical do it, do it because of the, the, way the, the way the ground is out there. And share any other tips or suggestions you have in growing trees. Until then, everybody, have a great day and keep growing.